Now, I don't want to go into graphic detail or anything, but you guys know about the birds and the bees, right? When two Nintendos fall in love, they can sometimes come together and uh, do the deed, uh, so to speak. And if one Nintendo is a male and the other Nintendo is a female, it can lead to offspring, also known as a baby. Well, a stork just flew into my mailbox the other day and dropped off a baby little tiny Nintendo that I will be adopting. This is the NES Classic, and this little tight package has over 600 games on it. Although I am very excited to be the father of this adopted baby, I just don't know how I'm gonna explain who's his parents when he gets older. He's probably gonna have some questions. Gadget Jeff. Baby. Hey guys, welcome back to Gadget Jeff TV, where I, Jeff, review cool toys and gadgets fairly regularly, pretty often. I would say. I wanted to say first, for the sake of keeping this video short, this will not be an extensive review on the NES Classic, but uh, I just wanted to go over some of the highlights. As you guys know, I do love my video games. I have a 60,000 game MAME arcade, uh, which I did a review on. I'll put a link in the description below. A nifty little pinball machine. And many of my old school consoles that I still have to this day. Not because I really play them, but more because Every time I pick them up, it just brings back childhood memories, and who wants to forget those? First off, I know this review on the NES Classics is a little bit on the late side. It's been out for about a year now, but I just got it, so it's new to me and hopefully new to you. This little guy is the downsized version of the original NES Nintendo. Nintendo did a great job at shrinking the overall size dramatically. I would say it's at least 75% smaller, probably more. What I find funny is most of the time people are trying to get things bigger. Especially guys, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make things larger, not smaller. <laughs> so speaking of larger, I've been taking these Prime Lab testosterone boosters. I'll do a review on these another day, but things are larger. Nintendo sells these things for about 30 bucks a piece and they come pre-installed with about 30 games. All pretty much the classics that you know of, Super Mario, Donkey Kong, Metroid, and so on. It also comes with one original type NES controller but the cord, I don't know if I just got gypped. I swear it's like two feet. So you gotta be standing like right in front of your TV playing this thing. That was no go. So I ordered these wireless ones where you pop in this little receiver into the console and then you can sit back up to 40 feet away and play, which is more my style. Don't get me wrong, when I was young, I used to love sitting like way close to the screen where I was practically making out with it, making out with LED panels, but as I got older, I kind of graduated into making out with women, not LED panels. So speaking of expenses, after I ordered this guy for about 30 bucks, I read online that you could hack them and put way more games on them. So I found this dude on eBay that lets you ship your NES Classic into him. You pay him a little bit of cash, you know? Everyone wants to get paid and put food on the table, and then he ships it back to you with the games installed. Now, I've also seen a lot of eBay sellers now selling hacked NES classics with the, with the 600 games on them already, so you can just avoid that extra step of having to send yours in and wait for it and have them send it back. You can just buy it instantly. I also found out it's fairly easy to hack it yourself, but I'm just not much of a tech code type hacker guy, so I just didn't want to mess up and risk $30 if I broke it, so I sent it in. Now for a quick demonstration of the operating system, because there are so many games installed on this guy, all the games are installed in folders in alphabetical order to help categorize them. It does take a little hunting around to find the game you're looking for, but when you're trying to find a game, let's say Super Mario Brothers 3, you simply go into the S folder and voila, there it is. Now it still plays just like the same old, you got your D-pad and your two buttons, Pretty self-explanatory. Yes, it is a simple form of gaming compared to today's new age games and consoles, but it's still a really good time, especially because it brings back memories of my childhood. So I'm sure you youngsters that have the new Xbox One or the PS4, as you get older, there are gonna be other consoles. 30 years from now, you're gonna be looking back on the PS4s and Xbox Ones. And it's gonna give you a little uh, little excitement, a little, uh, little tear, if you will. All of my old favorites are on there. We're talking about Contra, Mario, Donkey Kong, Metroid, Zelda, Kirby's Adventure, Pac-Man, and so forth. But growing up, I didn't really have any cash and I couldn't afford the games I wanted. I had like maybe 10 of them. And looking on this new system with the 600 games, there are a lot of games I missed. It's fun to browse and see the library of games that I never knew even existed. 
We're talking games like Wayne's World, which I have to admit, I can understand why it wasn't a big hit. It's kind of lame. We got Jeopardy, but <clears throat> who gives a shit? And look at this one, Bubble Bath Babes. Never heard of this one before. And look, 8-Bit Titties. If only I would have known about this game in my youth, I probably would have stayed up many nights with scented candles and lotion. Not gonna lie. You guys uh, feeling me? We all do it. Let's not deny it. We all do it. Time to time. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the NES Classic. I'll put a link in the description below if you wish to purchase them on Amazon. Any questions, please leave them in the comments section below as well. On a side note, I am pumped up. I just received my new uh, titanium exhaust for my GTR and I had it installed and dyno tuned. I'll uh, do a video on it shortly of how it sounds. It gave it about 30 more horsepower and it sounds angry as hell. My GTR is now putting down 607 wheel horsepower and it just sounds nasty. But yes, I will be doing a video on the new exhaust soon, but I'll leave you with a video of my car on the dyno hitting 607 peak wheel horsepower. Talk to you guys later, bye.